Hello, John Dilworth here. Uh, we are commenting on The Chicken from Outer Space, uh, our 1996 uh, Oscar-nominated short produced for Cartoon Network and Hanna-Barbera, Inc. Now, we're doing this rather grassroots and, uh, you know, uh, underground-ish, uh, as I have none of my gear to make a, uh, a more dynamic video with the lights and the resolution. And also, you, I'm not going to be able to show you what I am commenting on. We're just going to have to fly together, kind of in the dark. Uh, I'll lead you, of course, uh, and I encourage you to have your own copy of the film, but uh, I, will tell you, <laughs> I will tell you when I stop uh, the, the film and describe the frame, and you could go there and uh, you can get some of the, the, the insights that will come out of my brain uh, at the time. Very unfortunate, you know, of course. Um, perhaps one day in the future we will have uh, an official... Um, I don't know what these things are, specials on uh, some kind of Blu-ray or whatever the future holds, uh, a virtual reality reality projection from the mind, you know, that uh, somehow coming through our brain, we could see it and uh, we'll never need objects anymore. Oops, what's going to happen to the economy? So, you know, uh, a very long, um, well, just, process before the chicken from outer space turned into courage a cowardly dog it was maybe three years um, in 1996 uh, Hanna Barbera at the time under uh, the leadership of Fred Seibert who's doing some amazing things uh, today still uh, amazing um, uh, he was he, he had a program where they were recruiting they were scouting they were looking for uh, shorts uh, for their program, what a cartoon, you know, what a what a what a cartoon, um, and uh, luckily luckily for me, um, I had the Dirty Birdie, um, so they came around, looked at that, uh, found that um, not to their liking, uh, buttocks and things like this, and so uh, I I basically showed them the storyboard for the chicken from outer space, which was my black, I was going to do a black and white, uh, really homage to the great horror films of the 50s, you know, and all of these films are, are you know, mostly, oh, well, the better ones are politically oriented. Uh, and I, and I love that dynamic uh, of some unwelcomed alien intruder in the beautiful pastoral, you know, universe of nowhere. Uh -huh where nothing grows, really. And, um, and I love the icon of the opening of uh, The Chicken from Outer Space, that little farmhouse in the field that's barren and uh, great photographs from the Dust Bowl at the time. Uh, Dorothea Lang is her name, or I may have get that wrong. But at the time, I was looking at these photos taking taken from this great privation at the time. And I thought, how wonderful to marry uh, this science fiction and uh, basically science fiction horror, because, you know, when you get visited by an alien, it's not a happy thing, I don't think, you know, uh, especially not here for this, this dog and, uh, uh, and these two couples, the bags, right? So you have this windmill that's going in the background, but the windmill has a, has a kick in it. You know, it's not perfect, right? Uh, and that's also very, very important. And then the first shot we see of Courage, he's in the lap of Muriel. And I mean, that's emphasis, because for me, that's coziness. That's home. That has references. Uh, for instance, when we cut wide and we see the family together in the shot, wide shot, the farmer is reading a newspaper. Newspaper even has... Uh, a, a, a headline, UFO sighted, you know, foreshadowing what's coming. I mean, this is film theory, really, uh, to do this kind of thing. And on the walls, is, I'm very fond of inserting family and lovers and um, special people, employees, even executives in my movies. Uh, especially important in this one is the photograph of my cat, Suavidad, who in part, of course, parts of Suavidad is in the dog, especially the way Courage is laying on the lap of Muriel. 
that was the preferred position of Swavi Dot on the lap of myself and his mom at the time. Uh, well, he's now in cat heaven. Um, and so that is very, that's a very important uh, trilogy right there. Not a trilogy. What are we saying? It's a three, a threesome. Huh? Uh, and it's all in my films. Uh, I, I just uh, have to do with this this number. I don't even know why. Courage is a coward. Uh, he jumps on the head of uh, Eustace. Muriel is seen taking the mouse outside of the house. The lover of all things. She can communicate to the animals. To I mean, look who she's married to. And in this shot, you see uh, colleagues, very important people uh, uh, related to the film. You see... Uh, on the table, uh, these two young people were the colorists, I remember, and there is uh, Miss Copeland, uh, a very important person uh, in my life, a colleague. So there you have it, more of this. Uh, so now the farmer is pulling courage off his head, and he puts on this mask. You know, now the mask uh, was originally a shotgun. Uh, uh, that's what... Well, that's normal, right? Because it was an independent film and uh, we didn't have kind of standards and practices saying that you can't uh, shoot your dog. So, but the farmer was. He was blasting that guy with a double barrel and, you know, dirt is kicking up and everything. Uh, but uh, the network wouldn't have that. So uh, I came up with the mask. Um, and a lot of credit is given to the development executive at Hanna-Barbera at the time, Ellen Cockrell, who, who just really was so easy, so wonderful, all executives, what a blessing, right? For any creator, it uh, should have this kind of relationship. Uh, so, booga, 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 uh, the farmer's laughing. He's not a nice man. I mean, he's just not a nice man. Where he comes from, a large por portion would be uh, the worst of me. Uh, is guaranteed. So here the UFO, the UFO arrives, and this is another big deal for me because uh, back in 95 when we we're producing all this, you know, everybody's getting excited about the new technologies and CG and all of this. So I thought, oh, I got to do that because I love uh, mixed media especially. So uh, a, a colleague in LA, a terabyte, he, he did the UFO and uh, it worked out really, really well um, because of course, um, you know, it's simple. Well, simple, but it does the trick. You don't need a lot of fancy stuff, right? I agree with you. So Courage screens, and here comes this chicken. Now the chicken has got a special story all on its own. Whoops. Um, the red eyes, well, that's classic uh, horror, you know, ingredients like salt and pepper. You've got to have glowing red eyes or green eyes or something like this. But that chicken was inspired by uh, another colleague, a great, a great filmmaker. I love him, Nick Park. Uh, the wrong trousers. He had done this penguin, uh, diabolical penguin. And I thought, ooh, I'm going to just, uh, you know, when you love something so much, you might as well just steal it. Uh, so that's what I did. And uh, so the chicken from outer space, well, he comes from outer space. And, uh, and Courage is inside doing his babble, babble, babble. Now, Courage wasn't speaking. I didn't really have him speaking. What I wanted him to do was be more like a Charlie Chaplin and use his body as uh, language. So he would convert into different shapes of uh, abnormal and irrational uh, objects. And hopefully you'll understand what he's doing. Ah, I don't know if that really happened. And so there it is. And so here comes the paranoia. The thing that you most fear doesn't really exist. Well, not for others, but for you, it exists even greater now. And so uh, Muriel and her pin, uh, if you get a chance to stop uh, and read the pin, <laughs> oh, uh, I, I, don't, I can't even read what it says. But if someone has a really good copy of The Chicken from Outer Space, read what it says on the pin as she bonks uh, Eustace on the head. <laughs> it's got a message there. And that's another thing. I have these little messages throughout my films. Uh, I was doing that a lot more earlier in my work. Um, I'm not doing that so much right now. So Courage is looking inside the hen house and he sees the chicken from outer space and he's like, he kills all the hens. They're all done. You know, uh, and so Courage runs in. You see the farmer reading another newspaper. It says flying saucers. I love this kind of foreshadowing, right? And then, of course, the timing. Courage comes in 
grabs Muriel, looks to Farmer, Farmer looked, I mean, all this kind of strange stuff that I, I just really love. Oh, and we got to talk about the wallpaper in the background. So that's by Margaret Fry, who's, who's right now color designing my, my new film, Goose and High Heels. And um, Muriel is now in the hen house. What, what happened to all the dead chickens? Nothing. She just sees one. And it's life is beautiful. Sometimes you need filters to get through life. I mean, what's the point of looking at uh, all the horrible things, all the diabolical things that are going on? Uh, you just look at the surface and you're quite happy and gay and everything goes in your way, I hope. Right? But not for courage. Not for those that see and then must act. So now he's locked in his own little psychosis here, trying to get out. Uh, he fears even greater. Uh, now the chicken from outer space is outside. He's locked inside. He's worthless. And you see the double spotted eggs. Uh, and you, typical male, right? He's just sitting at the table with his fork and knife, like in a special way. You know, we, we've been we graduated. We have evolved from the trees. We can use our utensils. And so he's waiting to be served. And this is a long relationship, you know. And Courage is using all the tools that he can. All of this comes from... Warner Brothers and MGM, the Tex Avery, the, the Clampett. I mean, these kids, what, what wonderful expressiveness. I can't imagine that uh, they, any, they had any demons, these, because we're, we're constantly giving these absurdities. We're laughing all the time, making these uh, cartoons, these images. And, of course, the eggs are spotted. And now here it is. It would be really great to uh, slow down the pan of all of the explosive material that Courage litters the doorway with. Because they have little tiny uh, uh, significances, and they're words, and, and little messages in this thing. Uh, there's even fertilizer. There's a bag of fertilizer, because um, at the time, I, I believe that there was some uh, big event that happened, and uh, fertilizer was used as an explosive and uh, I, I had to use it. So Courage is here, and, he's, and the eggs are frying. Courage is frying, and he, he blows the joint. And that's standard stuff. Just, if you can't get people to do what you want, you blow them up, right? So here's Powdry. Cur uh, farmer is licking his lips. There is my brother. So Courage is looking through the window. My brother is on the wall. Very handsome man. He's also with my cat. Probably in cat heaven, is he like cats as well. And there, and encourages work. Look at this. He sees the kitchen looking through. He's looking through the window. Two consciousness meeting in the middle and create irrationality. He sees Muriel tied up on the train. And Farmer, well, he's blind. He eats this thing. You know, what is it? Is it a statement against uh, you know what? Of course. We only want to eat organic food. So here's Muriel. She's sitting at her, her table about to partake in her eggs and if you look on the right there's a little cabinet it's filled with little cartoons uh characters from the the world of dilworth and on the bottom shelf there is a <laughs> there is a naked dilworth or a naked dilly or a naked what you want uh and then above you have fergarina you have dirty birdie you have smart talk with raisin then you have sparkles who's a little project i tried to get uh, funding at some point, which didn't work. And then you have Margaret Fry, right above uh, Muriel there, and her husband, David. I love putting couples together. Or some kind of relationship, right? If you see that, there may be a relationship. And then you see the flowers on the other thing. Nothing grows. But in to Muriel, it's all glorious and beautiful and lovely, and, and that's the way life should be. But not for all. Obviously, the farmer is transforming. And possibly this egg, or whatever diabolical villainy that came with the eggs, only brings out what's inside you. So if Muriel had eaten it, perhaps she would not have suffered so greatly. But she's no dum-dum being raised in the, uh, in the far highlands of, of Scotland. She doesn't eat the eggs. In fact, she sees her husband transforming into the monster he really is. So I love that, and then here comes Courage to save the day with his primitive tools, and he knocks out the chicken from out of space. And I love visual uh, frames, wording, sound effects, visual sound effects. Love that. That uh, I got from uh, Dean Martin from Mad Magazine. And when I was growing up, when I was a young girl, uh, Mad Magazine was just wonderful. I love Mark Drucker. I love those artists. They were great 
wow, that they have a sense of humor and satire and parody and all of that jazz. And um, Don Martin, rather, Don, he did uh, those men with the very funny feet and the hair. Wow, uh, that stuff is lovely. So, uh, the chicken for space, he comes to life again, grabs courage, and they get a tussle. You know, who's going to win this thing, of course. And I deliberately wanted to, oh, and there's some executives, uh, executive and my sound designer, Michael Geisler, I, I mean, he's done all the sound, did all the sound effects for this series, Chicken from Outer Space. He's on Dirty Birdie, Angry Cabaret, Smart Talk with Raisin, uh, Mouse a Kiss is a special uh, film of his. And uh, so the transformation uh, continues. And, oh, uh, children's games. Uh, how to resolve conflict uh, by games. And you see even the sore loser. Even an alien is a sore loser. I mean, these kind of contradictions are, is what I love. And then there's checkers, not chess, checkers. And then, of course, courage cleans up, and this is the worst thing. When you, Bullies are always the same. It doesn't even matter if it's a human bully or an alien bully. They don't like to lose. You gotta be careful. And then even when you beat them, they find a way to reproduce their, their broken like arm or whatever. And so no, the farmers completely and there's another uh, uh, he was the assistant, Michael Adamo. He was assistant uh, under Chicken from Mother Space and he went on to become a really big producer in in London and now he toured the world with his family, beautiful blonde family, and uh, I think they're in New Zealand now. And so uh, the chicken from my space cuts the wires. You can't get telephone service. You know, even today, you don't need a chicken to do that. And uh, they play this wonderful game where you slap your hands. You know, you got to hang on. You ever do that when you're a kid? Bang! Oh, it hurts so much. So we used to do that, and now they do it. It's so simple. So, oh, so here's a chicken from uh, the farmer chicken, and he's in the room with that very strange angle. And if you look on the wall, there's a, photo, there's a cartoon drawing of Dilly. If you look closer, there's a flower coming out of his buttocks. That's not allowed. <laughs> and so the far this guy is now Muriel's in the corner. These two are holding their breaths. Imagine, uh, you know, you go to the you know, EU summit or something, and all the leaders are just holding their breaths. Whoever lasts the longest gets their way. You know. Uh, okay, so there it is. They win. That bag says Mars. Originally, it said Albany. Why Albany? Albany, we had, my sisters were going to college in Albany. We had some business up there. I just thought, well, why not Albany, right? Uh, some objection by the network, so I changed it to Mars. However, I don't even know how this happened, uh, but <clears throat> I think that it appears. It's, you know, there's three shots of the bag. The last shot, <laughs> It's Albany. Uh, so the laser goes over his head. There's me in my youth uh, drinking Dilly Pop or whatever it is. And uh, the, a trilogy, again, three transformations. And uh, Easter Island, I, love, I would like to go there one time. Boom! Chicken from outside says now feathers and he's the turkey dinner. Muriel's about to get, uh, I don't know what was going to happen here. I just, you know, it gets zapped. Now, when the farmer gets zapped as a chicken and he... There's a message in the ash as he's going. Try to find that. Stop frame it, slow frame it, bop, 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 and you'll get to read the message. And so he's done. And uh, what's left? Pure uh, madness. And you see the wall, uh, and these are all artists that worked on the film. There's William Hohauser on the left above Muriel. And uh, so... What can be done? The chicken's done, the farmer's done, and it's paradise. They, they go right back to, well, the only thing that matters for them, really, is the lap. Courage is in the lap, his mommy's lap, but he sees, again, uh, a mouse. And then this thing, Courage stops, and he talks like Jackie Mason at the end, which I just thought was funny, because, um, I don't know, I saw it somewhere in a cartoon, a Warner Brothers cartoon, I thought it was funny. And then you see these wonderful titles and credits, uh, all curved, like Forbidden Planet, which is what I love so much, and Stephen Saltzman, he did the music, this is before Jody Gray and Andy Ezrin, and we, we really started getting all this jazz. But you know, it took three years to get this uh, pilot, no, it's not a pilot, it was a short film that turned into a pilot, that turned into an oscar nominated thing, uh, to series, it was three years, and Hanna-Barbera folded, Cartoon, Net I mean, Cartoon Network came up, 
and uh, because of Linda Siminski and, and uh, Mike Lazo and uh, Fred Cyber and a lot of these other good people, uh, we have the chicken from outer space for all time. Thank you.